Castles have stood as symbols of power and influence for centuries. But not all castles stood the test of time. Some of the most famous castles in history now lie in ruins due to wars, fires, or neglect. In this video, we'll explore some of the most famous castles that were destroyed throughout history. Our first stop takes us to the heart of Scotland, to the once magnificent Dunatar Castle. Perched on a rocky headland, this medieval fortress was a strategic stronghold due to its impregnable position. The origins of Dunatar Castle date back to the early Middle Ages, and its dramatic cliffside location made it virtually impregnable. From medieval times to the Jacobite era, it played a significant role in Scottish history, with notable figures such as William Wallace and Mary, Queen of Scots, gracing its halls. It was here that the honors of Scotland, the country's crown jewels, were hidden from Oliver Cromwell's invading army in the 17th century. Today, Dunatar Castle stands as a testament to Scotland's past, inviting visitors to step back in time and discover its secrets. From the formidable gatehouse to the ancient chapel and the eerie Wigs vault, every corner of the castle tells a story. Next, we travel to the land of the rising sun, Japan, to the site of the once formidable Azuchi Castle. Azuchi Castle, located in modern-day Shiga Prefecture, Japan, was built in the late 16th century by the renowned warlord Oda Nobunaga. It was a castle unlike any other of its time, with its towering height, intricate design, and luxurious interiors. Oda Nobunaga's vision for Azuchi Castle was not only to create a formidable stronghold, but also a cultural and political center. The castle's design showcased his wealth, power, and progressive mindset, featuring spacious rooms, beautiful gardens, and innovative architectural elements. Perched on a hill overlooking Lake Biwa, Azuchi Castle offered breathtaking views of the picturesque countryside. Its strategic location allowed Nobunaga to monitor and control the surrounding regions, solidifying his dominance in the turbulent Sengoku period. Sadly, Azuchi Castle's glory was short-lived. In 1582, a tragic event unfolded when Oda Nobunaga was assassinated, and the castle fell into disarray. It was eventually destroyed during the Battle of Yamazaki, leaving behind only ruins and memories of its once majestic splendor. Today, efforts are underway to preserve the legacy of Azuchi Castle. Excavations have revealed fascinating insights into its construction techniques, interior design, and cultural significance. These findings provide valuable knowledge about the era and the influence of Oda Nobunaga. Our journey now takes us to the Middle East, to the ancient city of Aleppo in Syria. Here stood the Aleppo Citadel. The Citadel, situated in the heart of the city of Aleppo, Syria, is a testament to the ingenuity and architectural prowess of ancient civilizations. Its origins can be traced back to the 3rd millennium BCE, making it one of the oldest and most significant fortresses in the world. Throughout its long history, the Aleppo Citadel has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, serving as a crucial strategic stronghold. From the Hittites and the Assyrians to the Byzantines and Ayyubids, each civilization left its mark on the Citadel's walls and structures. The Citadel's towering walls, imposing gates, and intricate architecture showcase the mastery of ancient builders. Its strategic location at the crossroads of trade routes made it a center of cultural exchange, commerce, and military might. The Aleppo Citadel, like much of the city, has faced significant challenges in recent years due to conflicts. However, restoration efforts are underway, with dedicated individuals and organizations working tirelessly to preserve and protect this cultural treasure. Inside the Citadel's walls, visitors can explore the remnants of ancient palaces, mosques, and military structures. These archaeological treasures provide valuable insights into the lives and achievements of those who once called the Citadel home. We now cross the Atlantic to the New World, to the site of the once grand Castillo de San Marcos in St. Augustine, Florida. 
This castle holds the distinction of being the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. Its construction began in 1672 by the Spanish Empire, and it has since withstood the tests of time and numerous conflicts. The fort was strategically built using Kakina, a unique limestone found in the region, which allowed it to withstand enemy attacks and the impact of cannonballs. It served as a vital stronghold for the Spanish, protecting their interests and asserting their dominance in the New World. From the walls of the Castillo de San Marcos, visitors are treated to breathtaking vistas of the Matanzas Bay and the picturesque city of St. Augustine. The fort's position provided a vantage point for monitoring maritime traffic and defending against potential threats. The preservation and restoration of Castillo de San Marcos have been ongoing for centuries, ensuring that future generations can experience its historical significance. The fort stands as a living testament to the ingenuity of its builders and the cultural heritage it represents. Finally, we return to Europe to the picturesque French countryside and the Chateau de Cousy. Located in the Picardy region of France, it stands as a testament to the grandeur and power of medieval architecture. Its construction dates back to the 13th century, and it was once one of the largest and most formidable castles in Europe. The castle was built envisioning a fortress that would inspire awe and instill fear in the hearts of enemies. Its imposing walls, massive towers, and defensive features were a testament to the military might of its time. The castle played a significant role in the turbulent history of France. It withstood sieges, witnessed political intrigue, and even became a residence for French royalty. The castle's impressive architecture and strategic location made it a symbol of power and prestige. Over time, Chateau de Cousy fell into ruin, but restoration efforts have revived its splendor. Today, visitors can explore its evocative remains, wander through its towering walls, and imagine the castle in its medieval heyday. Our final destination is in the heart of Germany, where we encounter the majestic Heidelberg Castle. Heidelberg Castle, perched high on a hill overlooking the Neckar River, is a testament to the rich cultural heritage of Germany. Its origins can be traced back to the 13th century, when it was constructed as a fortress to protect the surrounding region. The castle's architecture combines elements from the Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque periods, reflecting the styles and influences of different eras. The castle witnessed both glory and turmoil throughout its history. It survived wars, fires, and multiple sieges, each event leaving its mark on the castle's structures. Despite the damage it endured, the castle's ruins exude an undeniable charm and a sense of resilience. Over the years, extensive restoration efforts have been undertaken to preserve Heidelberg Castle's architectural treasures. Skilled craftsmen have worked tirelessly to recreate the splendor of its interiors, ensuring that visitors can experience a glimpse of its former glory. These castles may no longer stand in their full splendor but their ruins serve as a testament to human ingenuity, architectural marvels, and the tumultuous tapestry of history. As you embark on your journeys, remember to seek out these remnants of the past, for they hold within them the secrets of our collective heritage. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.